Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another review of the LEGO Ninjago Movie Minifigure Series. Today, we will be taking a closer look at minifigure number one, Kai Kendo. Kai is the brother of Naya and trained by Master Wu to become the Fire Ninja. Kai is impulsive, extremely protective, and loves fighting enemies. Now, unlike his television appearance, he is more sassy, extremely compassionate, approachable, and always ready for a hug. While at times he lacks patience, he trains hard. This minifigure is based on Kai's sword practice. We see him dressed in his kendo gear. Kendo is a modern Japanese martial arts that is based on the Japanese swordmanship. As Kai's main weapon, this is the perfect training gear for our red ninja. The leg piece is used for a total of five Kai minifigures and appears in nine Lego Ninjago movie themed sets. It's the standard leg piece used for the movie version of Kai. The piece does have a lot more detail than we usually see in a leg piece typically found in a standard building set. The black legs have a red belt running along the front of the hips. It's the dark red diamond pattern printed on the front that makes this piece so impressive. It looks like padded armor one might wear into battle. The torso piece can be found on the same five Kai minifigures and nine sets that the leg piece came with. The red torso has impressive detail printed on the front and back. The front has the gi folded closed across the chest. I love that Lego puts creases in the clothing where the fabric overlaps. The black lining of the gi has the word fire printed in jargon. The ninja's black belt is tied in a knot to the right and gray lines are used to show the creases in the cloth belt. Under his gi, there is a gold undershirt. Now I'm curious if this is a cloth shirt or a thin chain mail to protect our warrior. I am impressed with the amount of detail on the back. We see the black belt with folds wrapped around the lower portion of the torso and the back seams to the geese collar. The large round gold emblem is packed with intricate details. While I was disappointed that the torso piece was not unique to the set, I was not upset because it is completely covered by the samurai armor piece. Now unfortunately, this armor with shoulder pads is also not unique to this set. The piece looks great and I love all the lines molded into the plastic. These lines add so much needed texture to this monocolor single piece of plastic. But for a CMF series, I want more originality and uniqueness. The head brings us to the first unique piece used in the set. While almost all the Kai minifigures from the Lego Ninjago movie theme came with dual printed faces, the CMF Kai only came with one. However, this one facial expression is completely unique to this minifigure. The angry scowl with teeth bared is the perfect fit for our ninja training hard in his kendo gear. The furrowed brows show us how hot the fire burns inside of him. I love the band-aid over his left eye and scar across his right. These battle scars are well earned by our ninja warrior. The tousled hair spiked up very high was a new hairstyle. This new piece was created for Kai's appearance in the Lego Ninjago movie. For that reason, whenever a set from this theme had Kai's hair on the minifigure, we also got this piece. In 2020, the hair would start making appearances again in other Ninjago sets, not under the Ninjago movie sub-theme. I love how this hairstyle looks a lot like a flame whipping up in the air. It's the perfect style for our fire ninja, without going full flame head. On Bricklink, the Kendo helmet is listed under accessories and not as a minifigure part. But since you can only attach the hair or helmet separately to the head and not at the same time, I'm going to count it as part of the minifigure. The helmet is the only other piece used for this CMF character beyond the head to be unique to this set. 
In my opinion, it's the reason for getting this figure. The piece looks amazing. The red ring around the gold metal bars protecting the face is spectacular. The way the flaps curve out to protect the shoulders replicates a real kendo helmet perfectly. I love the lines running along the side and back to make the helmet look even more armored. This equipment is more than capable of protecting our fighter's head while sparring. The other accessories listed by Bricklink are the minifigure stand and the two reddish-brown 6L bars with stop ring. While this LEGO piece can be found in over 1,000 sets and over 225 of those come in this exact color, I can't imagine a better piece to represent the Shanae. These wooden Japanese practice swords looked more like a long pole with a hilt than a bladed weapon. Considering they were often made from bamboo, that makes a lot of sense. The Kai Kendo CMF character looks nice, but suffers from being a common character in the Lego Ninjago movie theme. If you're a Ninjago fan, you probably already have this character from one of your sets. If you're into custom minifigure work, the helmet is going to be the only unique piece worth having. I don't think this character meets the standards of being part of the collectible minifigure series. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.